In this video, we'll see how we can leverage a data stream action as a data source input. Data stream actions are a great way to get large response bodies, say anything over 10 megabytes from a system or service that offers pagination. This enables us to break down large response bodies that might otherwise tax the system resources into manageable chunks. They make it very easy to consume what would otherwise be a fairly complex integration process. Now, most commonly, we use data stream actions in Flow Designer, but we can also use them in data sources. If you're unfamiliar with data sources or haven't used one in a while, please watch the earlier videos in this series, starting with data sources. For our example, we're going to use the data stream action built in the previous video, where we provide a YouTube playlist and the data stream action returns all the videos available for that playlist. You can use any other available data stream as a substitute for this example if you wish. We're mainly interested in the concepts here. Okay, let's get started. The process of building a data source with a data stream action is similar to any other data source, with a few minor changes. We start by going to System Import Sets, Administration, Data Sources, and creating a new data source. We'll give our data source a name, import set table label, and under type, we'll select data stream integration hub. On the right, we see the data stream action field appear. So we'll pick our data stream action from the previous video. Two common reasons why we might not see our action listed here. First, it may not have been published, in which case we can go back to Flow Designer and open the action designer to publish it. Second, it could be that the action is not available to all scopes. That's a little tougher to change once the action is defined and requires the assistance of customer support. After we've picked our data stream action, notice that the form adjusts to include the data stream action input for our playlist ID, similar to how it's presented in Flow Designer. We'll provide our playlist ID and save. Just for fun, let's test load 20 records. Success! From here, the process of creating a transform map and field map are pretty much the same. Just note that the fields from the import set use the data stream object names rather than labels. For our example, if we click Mapping Assist, we would see channel underscore ID rather than channel space ID with proper case. On the plus side, they appear at the end of the list on the left. Other than that, it's the same process. Once the transform map is defined, we run the transform and see the records in the target table. As we said before, data stream actions are very powerful. If you've got data stream actions and you feel you must use them with a data source and transform maps, you have that option. There's another way you can leverage data sources in an upcoming video. I invite you to watch.